In this video, we will see how to represent functions. Functions can be represented in many forms, but here we will look at some of the forms that it can be represented. So, first we will look at arrow diagram. So, in an arrow diagram, we have two sets, x and y. f is the function which has a relation from x to y. So, when I say that, 1 in x is related to 9 in y. 2 in x is related to 18 in y. 3 in x is related to 27 in y. So, this kind of mapping is called an arrow diagram. And you call this x as the domain and this y as our range. So, the, the function is from x to y. The next form of representation is set of ordered pairs. So, let's look at this function f can be written as a set of ordered pairs x, y. x is each element in x and y is each element in y. Now, you can have many set of ordered pairs using these two, you know, Cartesian products. You can say 1, 9, 1, 18, 1, 27. But in this function, in this function f, your x, y will be 1 and 9. Similarly, 2 and 18, 3 and 27. So, your set of Cartesian products of these two will be will be the codomain, which we are not covering in this, but just for your information. But our range will be 9, 18, and 27. So the set of ordered pairs is 1, 9, 2, 18, 3, and 27. Then the next form that you can represent them is in a table form. You can have the x here and the y here and put them in a tabular form. And the last one is you can have them in the form of a graph with your x-axis with the domain and y-axis as the range. You mark the points 1, 9, 2, 18, 3 and 27. If you connect them, it will be a straight line in this case. So this is a form of graph representation. There are many more forms of representation, but here in this video, we have just covered these four types. Thank you for watching Math Tutorial Anand. Please like and uh, you can comment if you have any questions and do not forget to subscribe to get more videos like this.